in this picture on page 444, we have a figure. And on the y-axis, we have energy. And then there are three different lines. And I'm going to go crazy here, and I'm going to use different colors for the different lines. It's going to be Y. We will have one line in black. We will have one line in blue. And we will have one line in Yellow, orange, or red? Orange. Orange it is. The, this is a uh, horizontal mass spring system. So we have a mass spring system in simple harmonic motion. Along the x-axis, we have the position. The black line represents the kinetic energy. The blue line represents uh, the elastic potential energy. And the orange line, what is it labeled in there? Is it just labeled total energy? Is that correct? Is it labeled total mechanical energy? Yeah. Okay. The one on the top here is labeled total mechanical energy. If you look at this in terms of positions, this one right here is position one, this is position two, and this is position three. At position one, for example, just looking at the kinetic energy, the velocity at position one is zero, therefore the kinetic energy is zero. The velocity is at a maximum, therefore the kinetic energy is at a maximum, and at position three, the velocity is zero, so the kinetic energy goes back down to zero. At position one, the elastic potential energy is at a maximum because x is at a maximum. At position 2, x is at 0, therefore the elastic potential energy equals equal to 0. At position 3, x is again at its maximum value, therefore the elastic potential energy is equal to its maximum value. The line across the top is total mechanical energy. And this represents what major concept in this class? That line represents that the total mechanical energy is conserved. It never changes. It always has the same value. So notice with simple harmonic motion that you could also talk about conservation of mechanical energy because there's no friction. So mechanical energy is conserved. Great.